everybody. Today, I'm gonna work on our sculpture kit. If you picked up a sculpture kit, maybe you got some pipe cleaners. The ones I've got are silver, but you might have all different colors. I got a few beads and I've got a piece of yarn. So today I'm thinking about things that take up space. So when we're talking about art and we think about things that take up space, we call those sculptures. So today we're gonna be sculptors. It's a special kind of artist that makes things that take up space. So that means they're gonna be tall and they're gonna be wide and they're gonna be deep, right? 3D, you measure them three directions. So, since we're talking about things that take up space, that made me think about things that might be in space. And I used my imagination and I thought about spaceships and astronauts and stars and planets and moons and aliens and all kinds of things that might be in space. So you can use your imagination and make up something in space or try to make a picture or a sculpture of something that you already know about that's in space. So when you're gonna make a sculpture, you gotta think about how it's gonna stand up. So I think I'm gonna start with taking one of my pipe cleaners and I'm gonna make it into a circle and I'm gonna twist the ends together to hold them together. because a pipe cleaner is just a fuzzy wire. And I'm gonna make that into the base. And then I'm gonna start to attach some more pipe cleaners onto that and see if I can build something. Maybe you can try to figure out what I'm trying to build as I'm working. I hope it works. Keep watching. Can you tell what I'm trying to make? I'm trying to make a rocket, maybe like a little space pod that's got little landing feet on it. So what I've got right here so far is what a sculptor would call an armature. It's kind of like your skeleton inside your body. It gives it strength and helps it stand up. And you saw as I was working, I had to balance it out and make adjustments as you go to make sure it's gonna be able to stand up. But see how it's tall and it's wide and it's deep. Plus the cool thing about sculptures is you can see them from all different sides. So now that I've got my basic shape made with my pipe cleaner wires, we can start to add on some more parts and pieces. So you could use your yarn and tie it onto one side or tape it onto one side and then wrap it around or maybe you have some other materials at your house that you would like to put on your sculpture. Maybe you wanna tape some pieces of paper on here. Maybe you want to use some aluminum foil, make something shiny on your space sculpture. The other cool thing you can do with pipe cleaners is you can use your beads on the pipe cleaner. So you can thread them on, just stick the pipe cleaner through the hole, and then your pipe cleaner with different colors and textures. You could put different patterns on there, and you can use those on part of your armature, right? 
or you can use them to decorate. I think I might make mine look like some cool little lights on my uh, little space shuttle here. So I'm gonna thread that through the middle and we're gonna have a green light right there. All right, let me just for go. And then I might come in and put some more lights around the bottom, make sure that they've got some sparkly lights. Maybe I could have put these on as I was working from the beginning, but you know what? You can always come back and add things on later. Plus the cool thing about pipe cleaners is if you don't like the way it looks the first time, you can twist it around and bend it in a new way the next time. So I'm gonna keep working on this and maybe we'll take a picture of it when it's done. I think I may go look in my pantry and see if I can find some aluminum foil and put some more shiny parts and pieces on mine. But I would love to see what you find at your house that you might add onto your sculpture. See you in a few minutes. Does it look a space shuttle to you? Like a landing pod? It's got some lights across the front. It's got some shiny metal pieces. It stands up pretty good. It's balanced. I had to work on that some to make sure it wouldn't fall over. All right, what do you think? Ready to go? All right, in the Information, Mr. Sean's gonna give you a link to a video you can watch of another sculptor. His name is Dale Chihuly. And there's a video on YouTube Kids that you can watch of some of his work. And when he makes his sculptures, he uses glass, not pipe cleaners and beads. But with his glass, he makes things that are three-dimensional. So you can walk all the way around and see them. In the video, you can see that. And he usually thinks about the ocean or about plants when he makes his pieces. But we're thinking about space. But that might give you some cool ideas if you go check out that video. Don't forget to show us your work. Bye.